I have a psychology degree, and this is exactly what I was talking about. I understand it is incomprehensible that a father could shove his trembling daughter's face in between his legs. Believe me, I understand, but you don't know Eric. And if you do, actually, you should understand very well. He doesn't care. He does not see you as a person. You are a plaything. You are his to do what he wants. He won't let those children go. He will kill them first. I'm surprised he hasn't killed me yet, honestly. But why should he? The courts are fucking caving to his freaking every whim with no investigation, no proof. Just him and his lawyer. Ha ha, yuck it up, high five, chuckles. Uh, I I'm completely baffled by this treatment. And um, this is years, years he's been allowed to force his children to do sexual things to, to appease his own uh, idea of revenge or uh, uh, ownership. Uh, this is bullshit. I didn't do anything to any of you. You, you listened to the rumors, and uh, and the rumors alone had no bearing on my parenting at all. Um, you will know of me for enough years to know that I'm a good parent and know that this is the biggest travesty ever. Plus, uh, you talk about my mother, Nadine. Angel Lynn is three times worse than my mother, and yet you sicked her on my kids, and you allowed her to dominate them for years. My Colton is a black sheep of the family who um, is dating other people's girlfriends, but yet he has become the expert on Erica. What he says is golden truth. Nobody talks to Erica. Nobody bothers to care because he can spin it and frame it however he wants with a couple of clicks of his camera. This is bullshit. Total bullshit. And you know, you really have to wonder why. Why are they content to always freaking do this after the fact? Why do I have to sue them after the fact? Why can't they for once stop the bad thing from happening before it fucking happens? Why does everybody have to go, oh, well, nobody knew. Nobody listened to her. We all thought she was crazy. Get my kids out of there now.